In this training, we're looking at the signature and attachment field types inside of SmartSuite. So if that's of interest, stick around and let's get into it. Signature and attachment fields allow us to do a lot of more complicated things inside of the SmartSuite tool. Let's go ahead and hop on in and start with the signature field that I've already built here. In order to add the signature field, simply add a new field and find signature from the drop down list of field types as I've done right here. We don't have any different options for display format. It is what it is here, but you can elect to require an entry in the field if you so choose. I'll leave that blank for now and we'll go and see what the signature field looks like. It's just as simple as this. And so if I wanted to go ahead and write or draw my signature, or I can also type my signature and just type out my name, obviously a lot easier and I'll go ahead and save it up. So that looks pretty good. Now, the real advanced thing in using the signature field type is in conjunction with forms. So I've already built a form for us here inside of my SmartSuite account and added the signature field. So from here, if I wanna share this form and go check this form out on the World Wide Web, I can open it up and you can imagine there are a number of other questions here. And once I'm at the bottom part of this, I can either draw or type in my name to complete this form. And of course I can make this a required field on my form as well, which makes this a very, very beneficial field type inside of SmartSuite. Once I've submitted that information as I just did, I can pop back in and I'll see a new record added to my database with that name or that signature filled out. Now let's take a look at the attachment field type. You can look it up by looking up the word attachment, but the actual name of the field is files and images. And before adding this field, I want to point out that I have only the one display format option here and I can or cannot require an entry in the field as is true with most fields. Once I'm happy with those settings, I'll add the field and here I can just drag and drop any files and images that I want to add into my smart suite app. So I can also click the plus button here. If I don't want to drag and drop, I can find them on a URL. I can actually take a photo. This is coming in really handy if you're using the mobile experience or if you're synced up with Box or Dropbox or Google Drive, you can work there as well and bring in information that might be uploaded in those different sites. You can also access Facebook, Instagram, Unsplash, OneDrive, etc. So once I'm happy with what I want to bring in, in this case, I'll just use my local computer. I'll bring in my icon here. And once I make that selection, give SmartSuite just a second to think, it's going to bring that image in here and I can upload it. And once I've done that, again, just another moment or two to have it load. And that is now saved inside of my SmartSuite record. So inside of my Acme client here, I've included a logo. I could do this for all my clients. You can upload a number of different types of attachments from Excel files to CSV files to uh, images to video. The sky's the limit. If it's saved in a file, there's a good chance you can add it into your smart suite records. I know we unpacked a lot here in terms of signatures and attachments. So go back and rewatch if you have questions and I'll see you in the next video. If you have any questions about what we covered in this training, please ask them below in the comments section of this video. And until then, we'll see you in the next training.